everyone, and welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I'm your host, Chelsea Jen. And I'm your host, Paige Lynn. <laughs> That's nice. a weird one. <laughs> Brett, you like that? Yeah, that was good. That felt good. Mm-hmm. That was requested. And that felt really good. I'm not going to lie. You know what doesn't feel good? My eyes twitching. Why? Do your eyes ever just twitch like a spasm? Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to sleep last night. And you know when you're trying to sleep and it's something just hits you and you just wake up like your body just, I did one of those hard. Yeah. You were dreaming? No, I was like, you know, in level number one of realm. Mm. Yeah. Rem. Rem, rem. Oh, rem. Rem realm. <laughs> you know what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> I said way. realm. What's realm? I was talking about that earlier. Oh, yeah. With the dreams. Dr- okay. So I'm not completely wrong, right, Brett? No, you're good. Okay. What's the definition of realm? Let's uh, look it up. Because I was talking about the lucid dreams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Phil and Chelsea in on that. Yeah. Um, Hey, honeys, happy Thanksgiving here. This is going to be, we just had Thanksgiving, and how was y'all's Thanksgiving? It was good. Chelsea made some fucking good food. Hey, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I threw down this Thanksgiving, and that was probably the best Thanksgiving meal that I've ever had. Hands down. The yams. Yeah. Yeah. And Paige uh, Lynn over there threw down on some homemade from scratch pies. Threw it down for hours. <sighs> threw down. Y'all, I was so, I cooked all day and thank God Maggie was there. Maggie just cleans up behind me and if I need something chopped, you know, she'd do it. So that made it really easy. But um, afterwards, my feet were a throbbing. Greg massaged them for like two minutes oh he made a big fucking deal about it it made me appreciate all the people when i was growing up just how long they'd be in the kitchen and i was over there just chilling on the couch yeah it really like woke me up like damn this is hard work big time bro big time Mm -mm. big time we got to get a caterer oh god next year i'm just getting frozen pizzas (laughs) i ain't kidding either (laughs) no No, I'll cook dressing. And you made the turkey for the first time, and it was so good. I made my very first turkey, and I was scared. It was probably one of the best turkeys I think I've ever had. Mm -hmm. It was perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And the stuffing? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I had for breakfast. Some leftovers? Yeah. Yeah, I took leftovers, and I ate them as soon as I got home. Damn. Brett's like, I can't believe you're still fucking eating. Oh, yeah, you got to eat. That's the whole point. It was so good, I had to. That's the whole point. Yeah, good times. Thank you here. Well, um, happy holidays, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to another installment. Thank you. And uh, we appreciate you guys. And um, just a couple of things I wanted to um, go over here. My calendar is now out. And it's the best. It really is the best one. I Thank you. And I know that I say that every year. I really do. But I mean it every year. And so every year I think, how am I going to top this year's? I can't top it. And then I do. It's my favorite one. It's, thank you. Um, It's a good one. So um, those would make a great gift, a great uh, gift exchange gift, whatever. So just get your um, calendars today at eatmytrash.com. That's eatmytrash.com. And a lot of people, too, if you don't want it in your house because there's kids in it, it's good for, like, a a shop Mm -hmm. or a garage, like, Mm -hmm. you know. Or you could just get over it and and hang up the calendar with tits. Yeah, or just look at the tits because they're just tits with nipples. That's all it is, literally. Um, Also, my Nashville shows are sold out, but wait, there's more. We added two more shows. Um, so I have some Christmas shows coming up in Zanies here in Nashville, December 19th through the 23rd. Um, those shows were sold out. We added two more. Once these next two are sold out, we're not doing any more. Um, that's going to be kind of a variety show. I've been working on new material, Christmas material. We're going to, uh, I- I've got a lot planned, so that'll be fun. Congratulations. Thank you, honeys. That's really impressive to sell six shows in one state. Well, that's because the rock fuckers. One city? They're here to support. They are here to support. Damn. How long is each show going to be? Do you know? About an hour. Yeah. That's About an cool. hour. For sure. Um, so that'll be a really good time. Um, also, 
guess what I just did? What? Hey, honeys. Graceland here. Hey, honeys. Memphis here. Hey, honeys. I'm all sugar. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, yeah. So I just went to um, uh, Graceland for the first time. I've been wanting to go my whole life. And I went. What you do? Well, I'll tell you what I did. I actually just posted it today. I got to have one of the coolest days I've ever had in my life. And that's the truth. I got to drive around Memphis for five hours. Five hours. With an Elvis historian. And he took me to a shit ton of Elvis landmarks and locations. Did you ever get out of the car? Oh, yeah. Sometimes we'd just drive by. Sometimes we'd get out. Um, I, fo- I actually follow this guy on YouTube. His name is, he goes by Spa Guy. Because his day job, he sells hot tubs. So he goes by Spa Guy. And he is a real-life Elvis historian. And love his channel. Go follow him. Go support him. Uh, he did this for me out of the kindness of his heart. He drove me around all day and uh, asked for nothing in return. So I vlogged it. I currently have a two-hour vlog on my vlog channel, Chelsea Lynn Vlogs, and uh, it was one of the coolest days of my life. You should have gave him some roadhead. Well, he's a a good, wholesome man, you know, but that would have been cool. Just to pay him back. (laughs) You know, but Greg was with us, and Donnie Baker and his girlfriend were with us, and um, he took us to some awesome locations. I vlogged the whole thing. What was your favorite? Oh, God. Oh, that's so hard. That's really hard. Because he didn't take us to, like, locations that people know. I mean, some, yeah. But he didn't, he took us to, like, all the homes he lived in. There was a photograph of Elvis that resurfaced of him as a child. Damn. It resurfaced in, like, I think he said, like, 2012. There's a story that this woman... It was when they first moved to Memphis, Elvis and his family. This woman um, went to a local like pharmacy or whatever to have her film developed. And there was one more picture in the camera. So she just stepped outside. There was a little boy there on his bike and she snapped a picture of him. What the? Just to get her film developed. So years later, decades later. Like the early 2000s, mid 2000s, I guess her, her daughter, maybe, I don't know, was going through all these pictures and they were like, uh, that's Elvis. Holy shit, dude. And the mom remembered, um, needing to do that to get the Mm -hmm. film developed. So that, so we went to that location and I took a picture by the, um, by where it was and stuff. And that's in the vlog. So it was just awesome, dude. She owns that photo, huh? Yes. Yeah. That is, and it's clearly Elvis. I mean, it's Elvis. The luck. Yeah. Oh, bro. So cool. Get to snapping. I mean, we had to end the vlog and the tour because it got dark. I could have went till midnight. You know, it gets dark at four o'clock now. I could have went till midnight. It was one of the best days of my life. So that was cooler to me than going to Graceland. Oh, yeah. It's like a secret Graceland. Right. Graceland was awesome. But getting to, you know, go around Memphis with him, oh, this guy did not need GPS. He knew every address. He knew every name. I mean, it was honestly so cool. That vlog is currently up on my YouTubes, Chelsea Lynn Vlogs. Check it out. Swap up. Swap up. <laughs> oh, I watched that Harry Styles movie. Um. Uh, Hello, Darling. What'd you think? I think it's Don't Worry, Darling. Oh, Don't shit. Worry. Shit. Um, it you, was really trippy. I know. I loved it. Way trippy. It was really good, I thought. Were the you critics ex- were kind of hating, like you the, said. The yeah. critics were hating. They said the movie sucked. They said, yeah. and, and I watched it, and I was like, I disagree. This is one of the best movies I've seen in a while. It yeah. only got like 32% on Rotten Tomatoes. I thought it was great. Mm-hmm. The cinema. What's it called? Cinematography. You yeah. got it, honeys. It was a weird one to say. Was on point. Yeah. The set, the set designer and the aesthetics of the movie, on point. Mm-hmm. The storyline, on point. I thought it was great. Good one. And Harry Styles can act. Thank you. 
Libby was, before we went to go see it, Libby was like, oh, people are all over Harry Styles' ass because they say, like, he's such a bad actor in this and stuff. He blew me away. Me too. Blew me away. I love that movie. At the beginning, when he's eating that girl's pussy, oh. <laughs> like a oh. fucking turkey, dude. Uh, me, Beth, and Libby were in the movie theaters looking at each other, like, going like, <laughs> Should we rub one out? Or? <laughs> Should we start rubbing or what? What are we doing here? <laughs> I love the movie. You don't expect the ending. The The whole thing was tripping me out. I know. I swear. Like, I I was like, what the fuck's going on, Brett? Yeah, it, she actually watched a movie. So oh, that's great. yay. Yeah. You never watch movies. Somebody in the comments said, Paige, why do you say you're going to write things down that you know you're just going to fall asleep while watching them? <laughs> that's true. Got me. Um, I, yeah, I thought it was a great movie. So I'm glad you watched it. Go watch it. Yeah. It's called Hello, Darling. Just kidding. Hello, it's called- Darling, my <laughs> old friend. It's called Don't Worry, Darling with Harry Styles. Styles. Now I understand why people say he's hot. I've always not. He was always, like, good looking. True. But you know how people are obsessed. I've never understood that. And then I watch this movie and it's like, ah. Uh. Justin Bieber was just it for me. Not Harry. Was it? Or still is it? Well, still is. You, he still is it for you. Hmm. He's just so attractive. And really? His, and I like his style and like hmm. the, the beanies. And hmm. do you, Maggie? Mm, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a dude to me. Maggie, what's your style you go for? Um, I don't know if I have a certain style. I feel like you like a little bit of everything. Yeah. Um, I don't know, but you do have a type, I guess. She's flexible. I like the rough. I like a dude with long hair and she like a rough rocker. L- rocker dude look. Yeah. Okay. And those are Yeah. You aren't like a Steven by. Tyler. Man, <laughs> I don't know about him. He might be a little too feminine. Well, Maggie, give us an update. A dating update. Everybody's wanting to know. You still boning uh, that guy or what? Uh yeah. Okay, okay. That's what we're wanting to know. But that's about it. Are you still on the Tinder? No. You got off of that. I got off. So of he's it. he's he's enough wiener for you yeah. to, to delete that app. Yeah. Well, oh, interesting. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> he's <laughs> serving up that dick. <laughs> When's the last time you boned? Um a few what? days ago. How many times a week do you bone? About once a week. That's about all I have time. <laughs> we're for. like literally giving <laughs> <laughs> What time and day? Got a bunch of, got a bunch of questions here for you. <laughs> Dude. Interesting. So it hasn't gotten weird or anything? No, it's like a, it's, it's, it's weird because I don't know how to explain it. It's like a business proposition. Like I don't (laughs) talk to him. That's great. At all, like throughout the days or anything. Yeah. And which is exactly what you want. Yeah. It's like, Hey, you know, who texts who for, for, for the wiener? Yeah. Do you text him and you're like, Hey, I'm horny. I think it's both. Yeah. Like, We'll, it's like we'll schedule an appointment. Okay. <laughs> That's what it's That's like. That's funny. Which is great for you because you, Maggie will meet a guy and start boning or whatever, and then she'll be so annoyed that the guy's texting her. Yeah, I don't Hey, like how that. are you? She's like, why is he? She gets so mad. And that's when she goes. So this is almost perfect for you. It's, it. that's what I'm saying. It's like, yeah. it is perfect. Texting's nice. annoying. Yeah. I used well, to I just tell don't want to sit there all day and yeah talk about your date like i i don't have time mm-hmm. yeah. no time brett i used to hate what? texting i used to tell brett good night at like five o'clock p.m because <laughs> he and he's like it's only five but i'm like dude i can't be texting all yeah. day <laughs> yeah yeah and then you'd be scrolling instagram for eight hours after <laughs> yeah that. then he yeah. sees i'm active on all the apps <laughs> right <laughs> right that's good me night. to all of you good night five o'clock i have like 500 unread texts right now i need you to go back through my phone and delete some stuff Here's what you need to do. Okay, first off, one unread text would drive me insane. You need to go through, delete every fucking text in your phone. They're important start. texts. They're not <laughs> spam. But, <laughs> they're important, but you don't read them. There's too fucking many, dude. You just need to spend an hour. It'll take you an hour. Go through there. The ones that aren't important, delete. And start fresh. Start fresh. That way, when you start fresh and you get one... You answer it. Just why do people have to start 700 group chats? What, that That is something I do. I'll admit that. Because sometimes I don't want to be in a group chat with Brett and us. Sometimes I want to exclude him. 
because I'm saying something about him, you know. Mm-hmm. And I'm, <laughs> <laughs> he said, mm-hmm. and it's the truth. <laughs> hey, uh, no, I'm fucking with you. But you know what I mean? Sometimes you just want, you know, if me, you, and Officer Daniels had an inside joke and I find a TikTok that goes with that, I'm going to start a group with me, you, and Daniels. I will say me and you are probably in like 15. Oh, yeah, at least. To 20. But I will delete them. If they're not active, if they're not currently active or active on a regular basis, I delete them. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be okay. Okay, I'll be fine. You will. You get overwhelmed with texts. Thank you all so much. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm here to help. Mm, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. You can just scroll. You scroll quick. Well, I'm, I'm good at scrolling. I'm a scroller. You have scrolliosis. Stop. <laughs> get trivy. Get trivial. Uh, get trivy. Get trivial. Oh, fuck me. Uh, get trivy. Get trivial. <laughs> That was an intense one. Maggie, <gasps> Maggie's kids are in the house, and I know they just heard me scream, oh, fuck me, from the podcast. <laughs> one of them's literally in the next room. Drawing. <laughs> Draw, coloring. God damn it. <laughs> They're going to grow up. Listen. And tell them about the towel Libby has. <laughs> They're going to grow up, okay, and be 30, 40 years old. And they're going to be telling people, oh, my God, when we were little kids, my aunt had this podcast. <laughs> Dude, I'm one time I was in the living room drawing, <laughs> drawing, and I heard her scream. Oh, fuck. and it was just my mom, Brett, my aunt, and Paige in the room. <sighs> Ooh, I'm hot. I'm just just getting, it's fucking it's funny. getting hot in here. And then Libby has a towel that a fan made. If people give us like a lot of stuff at at shows, and a fan, it's a dish towel, and it says. Oh, fuck me, daddy. In the bathroom. And she has a... (laughs) And the kids go in there. Yeah. So we don't kid-proof our house when they come over. It'd be too hard. Yeah. If they see it, they see it. It's good for them. Yeah. And there's a dick here. (laughs) But if I say something, it's like, shut up. No, that's not true, Brett. No, Brett, sometimes you'll just like... Exactly. I'll say tits. Like, no. Don't ever say that again, That Brett. is an absolute, 100% not true. You're trying to play the victim right now. That is 100% not true. When he tries to play the victim, I call him Victor. <laughs> Stop. I'm going to pee. Oh, my God. Okay, Vicky. I pee. I pee. I pee. I just pee. Victor. Oh, my God. Victor. I'm going to call Brett Victor from now on. If he, ever you hear him becoming a victim, say, okay, Victor. Okay, Vicky. <laughs> Vicky, Vicky's funny for me. <laughs> Vicky and Victor. Okay, I'm lightheaded and my panties are soaked right now. <laughs> oh, no. no. I'm not kidding. You need a pop pad. You do need a little depend. I just need to put on a diaper before we film every episode. I'm not kidding. Victor. And, I just, I, and I just washed these jean shorts too. Ooh, soiled. Oh, God. Victor. <laughs> Vicky and <laughs> I just peed my fucking pants. I just peed my fucking pants. Maggie, can you see them? Oh. Holy shit. Is it bad? Can you see? Yes. Chelsea, let me take a it's picture. It's bad. It's take, piss. Take a picture because I just peed my fucking pants. Should, should you stand up and show I'm the camera? I'm not kidding. When I laugh, I just cannot control what comes out of my pussy. It's because your your urethra. <laughs> my urethra. Are you getting a pic of it? Yeah. We'll post it to the Instagram. Get a good pic. Got it? Ha! Let me see. Got it. Let me see if it's a good one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's straight up pissed in. Oh, my God. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm going to have to go change after this. You're going to have to go change before we go eat. Oh, my God. <sighs> Victor got me, dude. Victor and Vicky <laughs> got me. Vicky just came right now. Vicky's funny. Vicky you know, you know that now. God, now I'm smelling the piss. I'm sorry. It is a little odiferous. I, do, I can smell it. Do y'all know that uh, Anna Nicole Smith's r- real name was Vicky? Really? No. I didn't know that. And she looks like a Vicky to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I need to see another pic of her. Of Anna Nicole Smith? Yeah. Why? You don't know? You don't remember who she is? Does she have <sighs> kind of red hair? Oh, my God. I've, I know exactly what she looks like in my head right now. Let me see another pic. Oh, I could punch I could punch a wall right now. Brett, do I know? 
I showed you the other day, but wait, yeah. what? You well, showed yeah. her the well, other we were day? Talking about her for some reason, and I can't remember why. That's Anna Nicole Smith. Oh, dang! Wait, let me look again. Here, her name How is Vicky. How old was she when she when they had that show? I think she was <clears throat> in her thirties or younger. Late twenties, early thirties, maybe. Okay, I remember. Let me look. She's she, so fucking pretty. Oh, I I used to be obsessed with her, and yeah. I still kind of am. How do you even look like that? Oh, in her guest campaign, there's not a more beautiful woman. Let me show you her get. You've never seen her guest campaign. I don't think so. Oh my god, she's like there's. Her hair is kind of ready. Orange, is she still like, alive? It's literally platinum blonde. <laughs> well, in that oh there. Yeah. In that photo you just showed me, it was like orangey. Did you just ask if she was still alive? Yeah. Maggie? She's gone. No, and Maggie. She passed away. I thought so. I couldn't remember. But wasn't it something big? What happened? A drug overdose. Yeah. Pills and stuff. Okay, the, the um, Anna no Nicole light. show launched in 2002. So let's see how, how old she was. Anna Nicole. Birthday. She was born in 67. So we're going to take 1967 and divide it from, did I say 2002? Yeah. She would only be like 50 in her 50s. She was 35 when the air showed. I didn't Mm -hmm. think she was that. I thought she was like 30. So she was my age when the air showed. Okay. Show aired. Yeah. Why did I say I air show? It's fine. We and nobody it. stopped me. Well, <laughs> oh. I mean, because come on. Just switch the words. When the air, when the air showed. <laughs> I, got yeah. I, was, I said it twice, too. Oh, God. Maggie, you know what I'm going to start saying? Sense. What? You know what I'm going to start saying? Chomp head. No. Chomp. <laughs> I love that Paige loves chump head. It, we'll it, ta- I think it's my favorite word. We'll talk about chump head here in a minute. Oh, that was chomp. No, chump. Chomp hmm. head. But we're going to start, I'm going to start saying twice. You bet. <laughs> twice. My grandma, instead of saying twice, would say twice. No. Yeah, twice. With a T. All the time. Two times. With the T on it. Twice. Um, but no, my uncle, who was the biggest druggie, and he lived in a rundown uh, travel trailer in my grandma's backyard my whole life. Still does, I think. Literally still does. I'm not same tra- <laughs> same trailer they bought in the fucking eighties. Dude, Maggie coming out of left field saying still does. <laughs> <laughs> no, he does. <clears throat> and he was just there's his name was his name is Bo. Um and just not a cool dude if you uh, just whatever. So anyway, when we lived with our grandma, he would come in. There's no bathroom or anything out there. So if he wanted something to drink or go to the bathroom, he'd have to come into our trailer. One trailer to another. <laughs> And we'd be sitting on the couch, and we couldn't stand him. And he'd come in and walk walk through the living room. He'd look at us and go, what are you looking at, chomp head? No <laughs> teeth. I'm no teeth. At you. No teeth. He would just call us chomp heads. Chomp so heads. So we started calling Maggie's kids chomp heads. Chomp head. You chomp head looking ass. We're trying to carry on the tradition. And when we were out in the yard and shit playing, he would walk up to us. Knock us in the fucking head and say chomp head, yeah, chomp, chomp head. head. Chomp I want head. a trucker hat that says chomp head, chomp head. We know where to get them. So now we've been just calling each other chomp heads, chomp head, chomp head. Really, we started this just pretty recent. Yeah, pretty recent. But it's it's caught on quick. Oh, it's yeah. latching. It's my favorite one, and I think it's here to stay. And the kids call each other chomp heads. Mm-hmm. I'll walk in and live. Go, hey chomp head. But you gotta say it like that. Yeah. Hey, chomp head. Chomp head. <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't Let know. Let me Google chomp head. It reminds me of like a chum bucket from uh, from SpongeBob. Chomp. Googling chomp head. Something Mr. Krabs would say. I've never seen an episode of SpongeBob <laughs> in my life. Well, that's fine. <laughs> so it's slang for pretty much a stupid person. <laughs> I mean, our our whole lives when we were like, you know, oh 
four, five, up until we left. Oh, yeah. Chomp head. <sighs> and I've never heard anyone else say chomp head besides I him. I haven't either. I've never heard that word. No. That's why I didn't know what it meant. <laughs> That's fucking funny. That's the best ever. That's fucking funny. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord, dude. <laughs> that one sent me. <laughs> That one got me. <laughs> Stupid person. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking funny. Jesus oh. Christ. Whew. All right. All right. Should a chump head lean forward? <laughs> wait. 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 Whoa, what? We didn't even do trivia. Know, yeah. We did <laughs> I did not. Oh, <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Whoa. Where are we? Wait. We didn't even do trivia. <laughs> How do we get talking about I, I guarantee you all the listeners were like, wait, you guys got to do trivial. Yeah. We you could have done Brett pants. lean forward first. but You want Brett to lean forward first? No, we can do trivial. Should Either we redo way. the jingle? Yeah, for sure. Holy I got fuck. Nine. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we fucking sang the song? Yes. yes. Holy. <laughs> we're bad. We're really bad. Paige, yes, that's what I'm saying. We sang the song and then started talking about <laughs> Chump Head and Anna Nicole Smith. We sang the jingle. What the hell, y'all? <laughs> That's funny. I know. Okay, so I didn't even smoke. Oh, get, get trivi, get trivi, y'all. Uh, get trivi, get trivi, y'all. Oh, fuck me, uh, get trivi, get trivi, y'all. That's what it was because you started talking, talking about, about the kids. <laughs> Y'all, I am done. You, this you is sat there and you're like, you know, know what word I'm going to start saying? I know. What Chompy. if we forgot again? This is one of my favorite episodes so far. <laughs> I know. Because I'm having a blast. And it hasn't even started. <sighs> Y'all ready? Beth got a Beth got us a new wheel. Check that out. She even if you're if you're listening and not watching, she got us a new wheel and she put the viral podcast in the middle. She makes everything look so good, and we have a couple new um, new little little categories categories yeah. on there. So we've got ladies of the eighties, oh Ryman, SNL, the human body, Audi, Christmas, history, slogans, which of the three, general knowledge. <clears throat> true or false lead singers is everyone ready yeah one more thing yeah the fact that we're sitting there talking about chomp head and it's stupid people and we <laughs> totally forgot everything i know we are chump heads i know it we all need a chump sense. head shirt now uh-huh. yeah i know all right spin here we, that wheel here we go slogans red slogans red here we go slogans yeah. You ready? Yep. Yep. Is it in you? Huh? The fuck? Is it in you? I know it's like a beauty thing, like a perfume or like a... Is it in you? Is it in you? Is it in you? Is it water? Is it a dick? <laughs> no. Uh, okay. Is it in you? Is it in you? You've heard this before? I feel like I have. Mm. No. Is it like a Gatorade? <gasps> is yes. that it? Yes. Dude, how the fuck would you know? Wow. Here's how I knew that. Because I'm thinking, I thought, is it in you? And then I thought, Nike, like a sport. And then I thought, what could be in you? What's a sport drink? Gatorade. Nice, what? dude. Yay. I thought you were going to say Adam and Eve. Dot com. Code viral. <laughs> All Spin right, it. you ready, honey? Let's go. Lead singers. Lead singers. Here we go. Purple. Purple. Lead singers, it's orange here. Here okay. we go. Oh. Um, who's the lead singer of Green Day? I know it. I have his face in my in my head, but I don't. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Hold on. You lost me, Maggie. Do you know? No. What's his damn name? Can you give me the the, the starting letter? B. Oh, that's not enough. How about B J. Um, it, it's a hard one. What is it? Billy Joe. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Armstrong. Armstrong. Listen, I'm Billy. not a big Green Day fan. Uh, I just know, like, the popular songs, you know. Yeah. But I've never went on to Spotify and typed in Green Day. Never in my life. And um, I never will, probably. They come out with a banger. I probably still won't. 
All right, y'all ready? Here we go. Ladies of the 80s. Ladies of the 80s. Here we go with trivia, ladies of the 80s. Number three. Who <clears throat> sang Love is a Battlefield? Natasha Benningfield. No. Oh, fuck. We've seen her she, in she, concert. She redid oh. it. Oh, I think. We haven't. Love is a battle. Is it Bonnie Tyler? Pat Benatar. Ah. Yeah. Ooh. Didn't we see Pat? Uh-uh. No? Uh-uh. That's just the name, one of the names Greg calls us when we're being dumb. <laughs> yeah. Who sings, your love is like a tidal wave. I don't know. Oh. Don't know. Pat Benatar? I don't know. Yeah, I think that's the same. I know yeah. what you're talking about. <clears throat> Should we go, you go one more. Oh. Or, okay, ready? Here we go. History. History. <clears throat> History. Trivial. Here we go. History. What color is that? Orange? Uh, or, oh. It's it's yellow. Okay. Burp. Okay, here we go. History. Purple. Purple. What do the stripes on the American flag represent? Do the different colonies? Uh, Different countries. It's colonies, yeah. The 13. Yeah. The main ones. Okay. Was that it, Brett? Well, it's the 13 colonies, so well, yeah, it's half right, I guess. when you say it was right, I was like, okay. It's well, kind of right. The it colonies. is right, then. It is right. Yeah, it's I don't, right. He, was, yeah. he was going like, I don't know. I don't know if y'all saw him. He was like, I don't know. I'm like, what's well, not? No, what's they did, not the col- working? Yeah, the colonies. <clears throat> yeah. All right, cool. cool. Should, let's go one more a piece, because yeah, okay. that's been fun. Here we go. <clears throat> Last round of trivial. Here we go. Slogans. Slogan. I got slogans again, and here we go. You're in good hands. All state. Oh gosh. Oh dang. <laughs> all state, dude. There's no worse commercial. I know. And you're in good hands. And I state. heard you're not in good hands. Really? With I, all state. I, that's something I believe. I don't believe anything just because I see it. When I kept hearing you're in good hands all state i said mm, it's that, the exact opposite so i went down a rabbit hole and it was the exact opposite you're not in good hands spinning here we go christmas red christmas here we go how many times does santa check his list before making deliveries twice, twice. <laughs> Twiced. Great Twiced. <laughs> Twiced. Twiced. Nice callback. Twiced. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right, trivia was fun, but you know what I think it's time for? For that chump I think head. it. I think it might be time to let the chump head lean forward. <laughs> so I think social experiments are pretty interesting. Um, about 10 episodes, I talked about how they don't, um, make the uh, podcast numbers public. Um, and so we, we can keep our own stats. And so what I think would be interesting is if we all, all the honeys, so you download the podcast, but also make sure you, you know, your spouse download it from their phone too. <laughs> so that way we can see if there actually is a huge spike because we know it's coming. And if it doesn't happen, that means it's kind of rigged, maybe. I don't know. Kind of like sports. like So with uh, baseball, well, all you have to really do is the umpires have to be involved or the refs. Like If you want more points in a game, you'll just call more fouls. If you want more uh, runs in a baseball game, you know, you just call more balls. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, I saw something where you should uh, sun your butthole. <laughs> for th- Rest <laughs> is your dad. Time's up. Lean back. Perfect timing, <laughs> Russ. Perfect timing. Lean back. Hey, Actually, I did want to hear about that. Yeah, he brought up some good points. Well, everything's rigged. Yeah. Yeah. And um, a bunch of referees are coming out and talking about it. Really? About how they impacted a game back in the day or like how much they've been paid. Yep. And Would you hear about the lady that came through that used to work? She came out recently that used to work for the Grammys saying that that's pretty much rigged. It's people that mm-hmm. vote were being bought out and whatever. Yeah. And I mean, it's all, you know. Life's not even real. True. Yeah. So, Brett, can you elaborate on the butthole thing, though? Oh, yeah. I just saw it, and I'm going to try it out for everybody to <laughs> see how it goes. But, I mean, seems like it'd be good absorption. How are you going to do it? 
Probably by the window, I guess. No, like you got to be outside, outside full, yeah. full ass outside. But are you going to be bent over, face down, ass up, or are you going to be on your back, legs up? On my back, legs up. Why I'll do. It, I'll do it with you, Brett. I was okay. going to say yeah, we, we should, should just do yoga out in the yard. Okay. Naked. Yeah. Imagine people just driving by. <laughs> I don't care. I know, and I, and you know I don't care. No, <clears throat> I've wanted my butthole. Wait, what's a perineum? I don't know. It's, never heard. It's the taint. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I was thinking that's what it was called. The, People, the perineum needs sun. Mm-hmm. They it call does. it a perineum. The scientific word needs to be taint. I know. <laughs> what the fuck? And the tips of Corona. I will, mm-hmm. like, sh- uh, sun my butthole. Like, let's do that. We need to. Maybe I, we can vlog that for our Patreon and OnlyFans. They say never look at the sun, but I started looking at it. <laughs> she can see better, actually. And, I, and what happened? I'm not going to lie. I did it on the way to, um, when we were on our way to St. Louis, I was staring at it. And then I was trying to do my makeup, and all, all I saw was a yellow fucking dot for like Maybe that's, 30 minutes. That's why they tell you not to. Yeah, something just seems sus up there, but yeah. oh well. If they tell you not to, do the opposite, just like Allstate. We're in good hands, bitch. We're not in good hands. You're done. We get fucking sued by Allstate, dude. You guys are saying. <laughs> dude, if we got sued by Allstate, I would literally have shirts made that said, we got, we got sued by Allstate. Yeah, and, that would, and that would pay for the legal the, services. Oh, yeah. And we know everyone will. Support. Yeah. yeah. So we'll let you guys know if we get sued by Allstate. <laughs> dude, I'm always afraid we're going to be getting sued. I know. Don't say that. Don't say that. We'll just go with Liberty Mutual. <laughs> Stop. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Dude, if we got a Liberty ad for the uh, for the Moomoo commercials, let's try to do that. Damn. I know. We don't even have a, we're not even on a network. No, but we can make anything happen. It's all rigged. If we had Liberty Mutual as a sponsor. <laughs> I know. Just to sing that song. I know. And know we nothing sing, about it. Let's sing it. Liberty, 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 liberty. Wow. We sound angelic. You do. Can we do it one more time? <laughs> liberty, 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 liberty. Aww. We sound like little Christmas girls doing Christmas carols. We better get to Carolyn, too. Yeah, that's a whole other thing that we would get into. Okay, we've been chatting it up. Should we roll that beautiful, beautiful bean, bean footage? footage? Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. All right, you guys, I'm going to complain for a minute. If uh, if you've seen me, you know that I've got two large breasts on my chest. And Paige has medium-sized ones. And Paige, I don't know if you've ever had to deal with this, but, you know, it's been hard to find bras, hard to find comfortable bras, hard to find bras that the top of my boobs aren't sticking out, and just hard to find bras that are comfortable. Yeah, same thing with me with underwear. Your bra and underwear should make your outfit better, not worse. That's what's so great about bare necessities. We got the... Bare Necessities, the secret Bare Necessities. Bare Necessities is the biggest online intimate apparel retailer, offering over 140 of the best brands all in one place. They put fit and comfort above all else. So they're all about size inclusivity. Band sizes 28 to 58, cup sizes double A to O, extra small to 5X. With so many options, finding the right bra is going to be easy. They offer a bra finder fit quiz that points you to the right direction in just a few clicks. Bare Necessities also has a team of bra fit experts available on hand to help you find your perfect bra. Hey, give them a call. Okay, or start a live chat to get your complimentary personalized fitting. They've been getting feedback for over 20 years. They know what their customers love, hate, and need in their bras and lingerie. Right now, get 20% off your Bare Necessities order. When you go to barenecessities.com and use code VIRAL20, that's code VIRAL20, 
20 at barenecessities.com to get 20% off barenecessities.com code viral20. Hi, honey. It's walking my dog here. Um, so I have a question for you guys. It's something that I've been asking my friends for years. Um, and I love hearing the different opinions about it. So say you're dating someone for a month or so and you haven't had sex yet. Maybe he's gone down on you a few times. You haven't gone down on him, but you know, the time comes. He gets comfortable and he says, I have a micro penis. But you guys have been dating for a while and you've completely fallen in love with him. <sighs> do you stay with the micro penis or do you get out of the relationship? Mm. Love to hear what you think. I'd love to hear what Maggie thinks first Damn. off. Oh, man. Okay. I was thinking. I would stay with him if he could eat good pussy and was a good person. Well, I wouldn't. Maggie's changed, I feel. <laughs> yeah. I, you've oh, changed. I know. If Maggie's he was a good person, Maggie's huh? changed. If he was a good dude and he. Maggie, you fucking will leave a guy if he wears flip flops. <laughs> I, I have changed. She's oh, keeping a journal, I have an right? open mind. Yeah. Okay. I have an open mind now. That's cute. Here's my thing. <clears throat> I think it depends on the person. I think it depends on the situation. A lot of girls don't like to have sex i have a couple friends who they say if i never had sex again for the rest of my life i would prefer that Mm -hmm. so some don't care not having sex or having a micro they they literally will not care they will literally take a good person a good man that they have fallen in love with over that in a heartbeat and just masturbate or, or don't or just in, whatever pussy. yeah yeah um some that's a big deal um for me though sex is a big part of a relationship so if you do have a micro penis that really i don't know how micro we're talking but if you can't even have sex i feel like and you know you're building a relationship with somebody, maybe that should come up a little sooner just in case, like, that person does love sex and it's going to be a big part of the future. Agreed. That's what, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, at the beginning, the fact that, he, like, oh, he's gone down on you multiple times and y'all messed around but you've never seen his penis, I'd be sketch about that. Because mm-hmm. usually guys are whipping that fucking mm-hmm. thing out and not eating pussy. Mm-hmm. But what if it's great? In all other aspects, he's perfect. You are in love, and and y'all do still have an intimate relationship. He just doesn't have a huge honk, honk, honk huge donkey dick. You leaving? Oh, dude! Sometimes I just like sex, though. Well, you can still have sex, but how little we talking? Little, micro, like it's pretty much not getting past your lips. I think. He could always wear a strap on. Eat your pussy. Yeah. You're you're bouncing. It just depends, I guess, for me. But if I had a micro penis, I would let people know. Yeah. For <laughs> No, I really would. If I was starting a relationship with somebody, You'd I'd have be like, hey, there's something I need to tell you. Yeah. Because that other person might not want to go forward yeah. with and catch feelings if they don't have that intimate. That would be your username. Life. That'd be your username. But it, everybody penis. probably leaves him. That's why he didn't. That's why he kept it yeah. from her. Because he oh, really Matt, lacked her. Well, that's got a heart. That's luring him <laughs> in, though. He, yeah. lured, he got her. You're right. Okay. Me, personally, if I'm in that situation... And I have fallen in love, and he's a good person, a good man, and he eats my pussy good. My ass is staying. Yeah. <laughs> you're not leaving. You're not getting up from the bed. Because I ain't coming from a wiener anyway. So you might as well lick my clit. Get in there. True. You know what I'm saying? I'd stay in a heartbeat. <clears throat> yeah, it depends. It's hard to me. find a good person yeah. nowadays. Somebody who just <clears throat> listens to you. Yeah. Like an understanding human, I would probably take that over dick to not I, feel so alone i think the the shorter the wiener the bigger the ears stop <laughs> <laughs> the better You're, listening skills that's what i'm saying well yeah the, i mean the you bigger, gotta make up for it the bigger your wiener grows the smaller your ear holes grow 
Makes sense. It does. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah. It really does. So, that's a great question. It would be hard to have a <clears throat> micro penis too. Oh, and because because you think oh women want this big old wiener mm-hmm. and you know and you got this thing you probably feel horrible about yourself and you shouldn't. But you're right. A lot of girls don't like having sex, so there really is somebody for fucking everybody. I mean, come on. There's you're seven, right. They tell us there's seven point three billion people. There's someone for everyone, honestly. So, love that call. Thanks for calling in, honeys. Love ya. Appreciate you. Hey, honeys. <clears throat> Brittany here. Um, I just want to first start off saying thank you guys so much for everything. I feel like anytime I'm struggling or honestly, like, happy or giggly or in a good mood or whatever, like, just watching your guys' podcast just, like, either makes me feel better or just makes me even more gigglier. Um, And I have since getting married and um, getting off my prescription, I've gained a lot of weight over the past couple of years. And um, going from pages size to um, almost healthy size, I think that I have really struggled with body image. And I feel like any time I watch you guys' podcast, it's almost like I forget that I, that I like, was, like, struggling so bad that day. So thank you. <clears throat> and also, I have a would-you-rather question. And it is, uh, would you rather be the first or the last person to turn in the zombie apocalypse? Ooh. Um, there was also another stupid one that I found on this page, like, that I Googled, but I can't find it. So, um, anyway, you guys have a great day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love you, honeys. Love you, honeys. We appreciate the support, and, um, we're happy that you're able to, you know, listen to the pod and get your mind off things, and you are awesome and perfect. You could live a nice wonderful life the way you are if you're not happy you can do whatever you want to to make yourself happy whatever but you are hot as long as you're happy that's number one don't worry about that honeys i am big as fuck and i am and i know i'm hot so (laughs) (laughs) so there's that i got a lot of people you know buying calendars with my titties in them and these motherfuckers are saggy Uh, saggy and selling (laughs) saggy and selling flying off the shelves so you don't have to be a certain body type or look look a certain way to to feel confident or to feel happy or whatever but just hype yourself up and talk talk positive to yourself exactly any negative thoughts that come into your brain Mm -hmm. you gotta wire you gotta wire your brain that way for sure now her question the first or the last person to die in an apocalypse uh, I'm no, gonna, to turn a zombie. To, no, yeah, to turn into a zombie. Oh, turn it. Yeah, that's, yeah. Turn I'm gonna. Into, okay. I'm gonna say first. To turn into a zombie. Wait. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Because uh, I don't want to get it over with. I don't want to be scared constantly and be running from them and fighting them. I just want to be one, so I do the scaring. I've played. <laughs> yeah. But what if they just kill you? Then I'm dead. I got got it over with. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? I think it'd be kind of fun to live through it. I'm <laughs> Hell late. no. I'm yeah. I want, I've played zombies on Xbox. It was fun boarding up the windows and <laughs> stuff. See, no. It was... <sighs> they were all trying to come through the window. I'd want to be the zombie getting through your window. How I fun wanna, would that be? I want to live. I'm going to choose living till well, the end. You're still living if you're a zombie. Getting them. Getting people. You're got me. You're getting them. Yeah. And you're the one getting got. I know I'm gonna be, and in, I'm not gonna be the one getting got. I'm gonna be inside fucking knitting. You are gonna be inside knitting with your windows boarded up, and I'm gonna be, yeah, <laughs> trying to get me. Yeah, gotty. What about you guys? I'd want to turn first. Yeah, to get it over with. Same, Brett. Yeah. Uh, well, Brett. it kind of depends if they're fast or slow zombies. You know, I feel. Well, you choose. Slow, I definitely want to stay till the end. You know, I think it'd be fun to kill a bunch of zombies. Okay. Have a lot of sex, maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. With the zombies? No, no. With Just you or, you know, whoever else. Is there? <laughs> Whoever's Whoever's available. Available. Right Whatever hole is available. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Interesting the way you thought that out. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Okay. All right. Do you think zombies are real? I, I wouldn't put it past anything. I, I don't... 
think any. I think you know it's all rigged. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> who knows? They could just flip a button. Who knows? Hmm. You know, we don't know. Do you think Avatar's real? I don't know what that is. Isn't that a movie? Yeah. The green people with the yeah. tails. I never saw that. Oh, it's so good. Really? Yeah. You know, You've I never seen those. Avatar. You think they're wow. green? I Are they green or blue? They're blue. Blue, yeah. I don't like those types of movies. I usually don't either, but this one was good. Maybe I need to watch it. I don't good. either, but Brett is like trying to convince me to watch it because he's like, it's about Antarctica. Oh. Yeah, on the other side of Antarctica is, you know, Avatar oh. land. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know that this was a, that people thought that they were real or did you just make that up? Yeah. You just well, made that up? The land the is. The storyline. Yeah. Maybe. Is based off something? No. Oh. I, so y'all are making that Spielberg's up. Spielberg's kind of trying to tell us something. Oh, okay. You know, you know like the Truman Show? Yeah. It's, oh, yeah. It's kind of like oh. the equivalency to that. See, I never knew that. And there's a new one coming out. Hmm. What's it been like 10 years? 10 hmm. years later, they're having like a second one. I'll give it a go. I'll Should. try to sit through it. I'll do yeah, it. I need to sit through it, but uh. it just seems It's kind of like the Matrix. It's real people, and you go and lay in this chamber and then it makes you, you're like in a avatar body see now that i wouldn't put past nothing i mean we right? been like clones we've been putting ourselves in chambers for decades yeah but what did you say they do they clone themselves or they turn into a different they just become an, an avatar body like this oh. when he goes into the uh, y'all should whatever. try to watch yeah. it it's okay. good oh, it's good all right but what it is is there's another earth and another uh they're solar system dip- or whatever, and um, so there, there's a really expensive oil there mm. or some type of energy that they're trying to get on this planet. Mm. So they have to use the Avatar bodies because our bodies don't. Oh, like yeah. work. It's, it's it's good. He's infiltrating the the tribe to kind of mm. understand them more and how they can get them to leave so they can um, dig up this huge tree where all the energy Whoa. is. Well, don't tell me about it. I'll watch it. Yeah. I okay. feel like they try to give us hints oh. through movies. Oh, yeah. To just normalize things. Oh, for sure. That's, oh, yeah. We're all being programmed. For sure. Even y'all listening, we're programming y'all's asses right now. <laughs> broadcasting. <laughs> we're broadcasting you and programming y'all's asses <laughs> right now. Dude, they're probably so tripped out. <laughs> I, know. I know. Who's high in this room right now? Just Brett. Huh. I think we all got a little contact, though. Yeah, for sure. I wasn't going to smoke this episode because i wanted to be clear-minded hmm. but i still feel high well <laughs> that's just probably the way you are now maybe maybe brett's over there taking a hit right now i swear i'm Dead. getting second hand all <laughs> right let's go ahead and um move on to the next question thank you for calling in honey so love hey you. honey thanksgiving runner here <laughs> I spent Thanksgiving with my boyfriend's family. We have been dating for almost 10 months now. Things are really serious. Um, But he has some family come in from out of town. Um, That family has younger kids. And we kind of decided at the beginning of the week that they, like, we would not spend the night because they didn't want to explain people that weren't married um, spend the night together. Nothing about sex or anything, just us spending the night together. Well... Thanksgiving rolls around. Um, I decided to make a cranberry Moscow mule. The turkey takes longer to take, so all of us accidentally get hammered. Well, little old me can't drive, so we end up in bed asleep at 7 p.m. The next morning, we are woken up, and I had to escape and sneak out of my boyfriend's house with his parents helping to hide me from their family. The dad had the uncle. The mom had the the girl. The, my boyfriend had his cousins, and I had to make a beeline out of the yard and then make it look like I was running. I'm in full disguise. And then had to run half a mile and then look like I was running, get in my car, and then zoom away. Well, I didn't know who else to tell, so I called y'all. Aww. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Enjoy your Black Friday. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn, just because they're not married? Dude, that's wild. Like, the when when parents say they don't want to have their kids see something because they don't want to have to explain it, that's real life, bitch. Yeah. Explain it to your kids that not sometimes people that aren't married sleep in the same bed. 
Yeah. It's not the end of the world. And you don't have to explain anything because I guarantee a kid's not going to go, did yeah. they stay in the night? Right, right. And, huh? and here's the thing. If you're like, I can understand like, okay, if you're like 16, 18, 19, and you're bringing over a guy to your parents' house for the very first time, they don't know him. Okay, if they wanted you to sleep in separate rooms, that's doable. Have a little respect, blah, blah, blah. But if you're fucking 35 and you've been with your partner for three years and your parents are still making you sleep in separate rooms because you're not married, that's ridiculous. Yeah, because, I mean, you may never get married. That's just, it blows my mind that people are still that way. Sure, if you have a kid who's a, who's like a teenager or whatever, and they bring someone over, okay, yeah, I get that. But uh, And I get, like, respecting people's house it rules, you know, and if it, like, goes against their religion or whatever, but, I mean. That's wild. But, so they made him go out and jog. Also, the kids wouldn't see. Fuck them kids. Fuck them kids. <laughs> Open their fucking eyes. Make him watch him crawl out of that bed. I know. They wouldn't think twice. People get so worked up over the oh, dumbest shit. Oh, they're unmarried. They're unmarried. We don't want to see. We don't want our kid. Fuck them kids. My mom, like, I don't know she, if she thinks me and Brett fuck or not in the house, but we do. <laughs> <laughs> we told me but together I tell her for, I don't do that. Cause I know. You tell her you don't? Yeah. She's always like, I hope not. Y'all been together for six fucking years. Almost seven, right? Seven? Ooh. I think it'll be six, six. years in six April. Years. Yeah. But damn, dude. It's like, come on. And Russ, he's always like, I hope you guys aren't fucking. Why? He, well, like. Is he joking? Just at the beginning of our relationship. Like, are you guys fuck? But obviously. Oh, Yeah. People fuck. Mm-hmm. Now he's like, is she pregnant yet? Or I'm Yeah, sorry. now he's like, I need kids. Whoa. Oh, my God. If you and Brett had a kid. Be a baller. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, having a kid sounds not good right now. Mm, yeah. I don't have time to wake up and change diapers oh. and stuff. Ooh. I'll do it, babe. It's all right. Brett, Brett, you couldn't even get the podcast uploaded into the Dropbox for a year straight of us telling you. So right. what makes me think that you would wake up in the middle of the night and change a shitty diaper? Might be late, but it's exactly. going to be great. Kids can have a rash on the ass. Waiting. And, waiting. <laughs> waiting. And I will call CPS on your <laughs> Imagine. You find out it was me <laughs> old CPS. Psycho. Oh my God. Okay. Woo. Damn, man. That got me. That got me. What a wild story. What a wild Thanksgiving story. But a cranberry Moscow mule sounds good and I'm not even I don't even drink. But that sounds good. So Yeah, but I would say I like ginger better. Cranberry, dude, it just reminds me of cranberry vodkas and I mm. can't. Mm. Ruin cranberry juice for me. Mm, interesting. All right. Here we go. Make it about more than just the holidays this year with the gift of health from Everlywell. Give the gift of nourishing vitamins and supplements and over 30 at-home lab tests like food sensitivity and women's health to help your loved ones get further on their health goals. Everlywell is digital health care designed just for you with personalized results and accessible tools for long-term health. With over 30 at-home lab tests and high-quality vitamins and supplements, you'll be able to find the perfect test for you or a loved one. All right, here's how it works. EverlyWell ships products straight to you or your loved one with everything needed in one package. If you ordered an at-home lab test, the sample can simply be collected at home and shipped back to a certified lab in the prepaid envelope included with the test. Digital physician-reviewed results are sent straight to your preferred device in just days. 
If you ordered vitamins and supplements, you can start adding them to your daily routine right away. It's so simple. Over 1 million people have trusted Everly Well to support their health and wellness goals. And now you can help your loved ones do the same. I got the food sensitivity test because I wanted to know what was making the shrimp sing. Because listen, guys, sometimes you know when you eat shrimps, the shrimps are singing. But sometimes you eat other stuff and the shrimp still sing. And it's like, what is that? What am I eating? Well, this test will tell you. The gift of health has never been so easy to share than it is this holiday. For listeners of the show, Everly Well is offering a discount of 20% off an at-home lab test at everlywell.com slash viral. That's everlywell.com slash viral for 20% off your next at-home lab test. everlywell.com slash viral. Hey, honey, it's Two Sisters here. Just wanted to uh, hear your thoughts on what your stripper names would be and why. Please go around the room. We want everybody's names. Maggie, Brett, Chelsea, and Paige, all of y'all. Even the dog. Even the dog. Go ahead. Well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fuck me. Well, the dogs are not in the room with us for once. We could come up with names. We need to. I, I've got mine. Me too. I, think I know you've got yours. Yeah. Because you are your name. Uh-huh. You go first. Candy. It would Mag- be candy. Maggie candy. is a candy. Candy cane. If you guys don't know, um, my little short show I do, Tammy Bangs, which is on my Patreon, you can go ahead and subscribe for 16 cents a day. <laughs> anyway. And you will be in good hands. <laughs> Are you in good hands? Um, I do have, there's over 30 episodes and Maggie plays a character, a porn star called um, Candy. And you do show your tits on there. I'm trying to get people to subscribe. Yeah. So uh, you should go she watch goes, that. Yeah. So you should go watch Tammy Bangs. It's only $5 a month. Brett, what would your stripper name be? Brett is Victor, maybe? Or? <laughs> oh my God. That's Victor. Funny. Victor. <laughs> Brett, I'm going to start That's calling good. you Victor. Thank you. He does look like a victor. He does. Kinda. Brett victor. looks like a victor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <sighs> oh, don't ever do that again. <laughs> I think my name would be Pagina. You are a Pagina. What about just China? China. No, Pagina. 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 You know what I would do? Oh, gosh, Meredith. No, Barbie. Yeah, you would. Barbie, you would. You would have bright pink lip. But I, I want the last. I want Barbie something. Barbie, like, with a B last name. Barbie. Barbie Boone. B- Barbie Boone. Barbie Boone. That's <laughs> it. I like it. Barbie Bruschetta. Barbie Boone. Barbie Boone. You would be a Barbie. Oh God, I love strip clubs. I used to go to strip clubs all the time, and I we just don't go anymore. We need to start going. Last time we went, we had a one of your fans came and sat beside us. Yeah, and there, we were just talking to him. There at was the strip only club. we went really to the strip. Me, Maggie, and Beth went to the strip club in, in Dallas. We went to multiple. No, we were in Vegas. <laughs> I meant Vegas. Yeah, yeah, we were in Vegas, and we go to this one strip because I like smaller, hole in the wall, trashy strip clubs. Mm-hmm. I don't like the nice big ones. So anyway, we go, and it's like in this strip mall in Vegas. Very little. We go in. There's like three other people there. It's it's not popping. I hate and that. I like it when it's crowded. See, I like I like both, but I like I like both. So we go up and sit right by the stage, and right behind us is fans, and they're like, "Oh my god, can we get a picture?" So we were like taking pictures in the strip club, and they kept they came and sat right by us, and we were just hanging out at the strip club with them. But when I lived in Dallas, I went probably every fucking weekend. Mm-hmm. We need to find with a your, strip club uh, crew at mm-hmm. work. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a lot of strip clubs here. We should go. I love strip clubs. I don't know what it is. I love strippers. I love strip clubs. I think it's... I like when they actually do the pole tricks, though. Because that shit is so cool. Oh, Maggie, is my ass not doing this? Oh. The crazier they get, the faster my hand goes like this. Yeah. I like when they are just uh, twirling. Oh, they got a payday. Oh. We went in there. You made it rain? Uh Uh-huh. And it's funny because it was so dead. They were just like, how are y'all tonight? Like, talking. We're doing I don't want you to talk to me. No. Mm Mm-mm. I want to watch you dance. Yeah, because it's really like a performance, and it's oh yeah, awesome. And when they when they found out that the trickier they got, the more ones flew on that stage. Uh-huh. Man, they were dancing for us. <laughs> they were clicking dizzy. their heels. <laughs> oh, every click, I'll throw in a five, dude. Yeah. You love heel clicks. I love heel clicks. Heel Can clicks. we tell them you think? 
the little bit we did? Yeah, I think so. We'll just tell them a little. We'll just tell you guys a little. <laughs> I had to do a little bit in that thing we were filming. The thing we were filming that's not happening anymore that we talked about a while back. Go ahead. I did a little stripper bit and had my heels clanking, huh? Dude, we basically shut down a strip club and to do this prank. And basically, Paige was going to be the stripper. Paige looked amazing in her stripper outfit, stripper heels, and everything. Got up on stage, did the prank. We don't know if we can say what it was. Did the prank. But the day before, she was practicing her um, stripper set, her dance. So she had the heels clicking in the living room, and I just couldn't get enough. I was like, click again. (laughs) Click again. And she'd lay on her back and click, and I'd be like, well, do it again. (laughs) I'm like, should I do this? Yeah. I go, yeah, do that. (laughs) Dude. Yeah, I want to see it. It was yeah. nuts. Yeah, it was. It was wild. I just love strippers. I freaking yonked my head on that marble floor. You did. Got a little. Don't say it. Got a little hematoma <laughs> on the back um, of my noggin. Um, but a stripper one time gave me a ride in Vegas, and she ended up being a follower. Cool chick. A ride? Like, was riding you or gave you a ride in the car? Ride in the car. Oh, I, can't remember, I can't remember exactly what I was doing. I think I was with Greg, and it was like late at night, and we needed a ride somewhere. I don't know what was going on. I was at, I think I was at that restaurant that I like, Pepper Meal, mm. and we needed a ride. And I think I was about to call an Uber, and like she pulled up and was like, hey, Hot I follow it? you. And she was like, you guys need a ride or something? I was like, Yeah. So we hop in, and she's like, I just got off work. I'm a stripper. And I was like, oh, I fucking love strippers. And we just, yeah, she was awesome. That's the best. The last strip club I went to was Vegas. Yeah, Vegas. I can't remember the name. We need to go. I got sick, though. Was I with you? No, it was me, Brett, and then some of his friends. We need to go to a strip club with Russ. (sighs) Oh, my god. He doesn't like strip clubs, so it'd be interesting. I bet he would like a strip club with me. Yeah, yeah. That would be fun. Just because I make things fun. Maybe. Maybe. I shouldn't say he doesn't like strip clubs. He just doesn't really go. I bet he loves them. Yeah. He probably loves probably them. Probably loves them. Brett, yeah. yeah, don't ever say guy doesn't like a strip club. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, I got a story for y'all. Oh, my God. I used to work with this girl at Whole Foods. Okay. Me and her weren't close. Um, it was just a very co-worker relationship. And she told me. One time that her, she'd came into work and so we got to talking and she was like, so my husband, he's, um, he went to a bachelor party last week. Um, basically she told me that she didn't want him to go to a strip club. She told him, I don't want you to go to a strip club during this bachelor party. He had told her, baby, I don't want to go to a strip club either. You know, all this (laughs) stuff. She said, well. They ended up going to the strip club, and she was so happy and so um, proud of her husband because he sat in the parking lot in the car while all the other guys went to that strip club. And I said, no, he didn't. (laughs) I said, no, he didn't. You're the one that ratted him out. (laughs) He didn't. She goes, oh, yeah, he did. You saw him? No. Oh. But he didn't. He lied, and she fucking believed it. Yeah. Like an idiot. And when I said he didn't, she was like appalled. She was like, yes, he did. I trust him. He didn't go in. I go, he went in. It's like a teenager saying, yeah, I don't I don't fuck my boyfriend. <laughs> right, right. That I get dry humped from in the back all day. Right. So I always remember that. The fact that she believed that he sat in the park and I go, he didn't. No, nah, he sat in that chair watching <laughs> those titties. And With those. all his friends, sets in the parking lot. Hey, guys, I'm just yeah. going to sit back in the car. No. She doesn't want me going in. Okay, buddy. I'm going to watch the car. <laughs> you guys have fun. He went in. So, there's that. Okay, next call. Damn. Hey, honeys. AdamandEve.com here. Listen, you know what I'm going to say, okay? The holidays are right around the corner. Literally, okay? Get them something good stop wasting your money on crappy ass gifts get them something they're going to use whether you're shopping for yourself or someone special adam and eve will have the perfect gift that will make them feel 
great too. And with an amazing deal. You guys, at adamandeve.com, they're going to give you 50% off any one item plus free shipping. That's right. Our podcast listeners will get 50% off almost any one item. And free shipping. And listen, it doesn't matter what you choose. Anything you order will be packaged discreetly and shipped for free. So if you still live at home with your parents, no problem. More pleasure in the bedroom is just a gift that keeps on giving. AdamandEve.com has the best deals and dildos. They have clit suckers, cock rings, the best lube, anything you need to spice it up for your bedroom. They've literally got it all, you guys. Go to adamandeve.com, use code VIRAL, that's V-I-R-A-L, code VIRAL, for 50% off almost anything in the website. And free shipping. You can't go wrong. Knock out your Christmas gifts early. Get it over with. AdamandEve.com, code VIRAL. In denial. Hey, honey. Stoned here. So I have a would you rather. Ooh, would you these. rather never be able to masturbate again or not be able to eat solid foods mm. again? Mm. Let us know what you think. Mm. Love you, honeys. Oh, yeah. Love you, honeys. I'll give up the masturbating because I can nut from sex. <sighs> you fucking cunt. What about you? Oh, well, masturbating is the only way I can nut most of the time. 98% of the time. I'm not a sex nutter. I'm not. I'm not. That's why the micro penis wasn't a big, bigger deal for you. True. And I love to masturbate. And I even think if I could nut every time with sex, I think I would still masturbate. Because that's, that's, that's my time. Well, you're going to have to be blending up your solid food. But you love to eat. I love to eat. I love eating. Just blend up some Doritos. That's not a solid. Put some Wawa on it. Man. Is it still count as masturbating if someone else is using the toy on me? Uh, no. I don't think no, so. I don't think so, yeah. Because you're not doing it. <laughs> Need a helping gonna, hand. <laughs> you're going to have us all help you out. Line up. Take turns. Help. Take turns. Paige, I haven't nutted in a, in a few days, and I'm really hurt. <laughs> Can you help me out? Go masturbate your sister. Um, I think I'd eat solid foods and just have someone else masturbate me. Nice. Yeah. Dang, you kind of like got a better deal from that. <laughs> that's, not bad, that's not a bad deal. <laughs> not a bad gig. Not a bad deal. So, we can even do a glory hole if one of you guys want to just put your hand in and leave the toy on my clit. It's all up to you guys. So you don't see. Do what you want to do. That's, that's, that's up to you guys. So, love that. I love those would you rathers. <laughs> oh, love them. Love you, honeys. Hey, honeys. Lifesaver here. Okay, so one of my exes literally offered to eat lifesavers out of my ass blindfolded so he could guess the flavor, but he wouldn't rub my feet. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm a mom, like, single mom. I'm a fucking nurse. Like, you know, I've worked 12 hour days and this motherfucker would not touch my feet because he had a thing about feet. But you'll eat my asshole and offer to eat lifesavers out and guess the fucking flavor? Hmm. What? Make it make sense. Have y'all ever experienced anything like that? Like, I don't know. Weird. Love you guys. Thank you so much for everything you do. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love you. I love that she said, hey, honey's lifesaver here. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not getting anything out of rubbing your feet. He's been, he's been, he's had that lifesaver, lifesaver trick locked and loaded. Yeah, not a foot guy. Mm-mm. Ass he's, guy. He's a butthole guy. You shoved a Valentine's candy heart up your pussy yeah. and you were eating it. I know. I did that. On set. I did that. I put it. In between my pussy lips, it wasn't in my hole. I rubbed it around a little bit and then ate it. Why did I do that? I don't know. For the cameras? Maybe. No. It was just oh. me and It was Chelsea. just me and her. And I was like, hey, watch this. I did it. You could have faked it and still ate it 
and Paige would have thought that. And it tasted like pussy. <laughs> no, because I see, I saw it like in there. And I've never eaten pussy before, but I, that that tasted like pussy. Ooh. Yeah. Like fishy? No, but pussy. Does that make sense? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like Budissy? I think we have different pussy smells, so I may not know. I know we have different pussy smells. Because you don't use soap. But we're not going to talk about that anymore. Yeah, I don't know why you did that. I got, I, I just for fun. I did do that. Just to I, say you did it. I did do that. And I still have that footage on my phone. You got to post it. Post it to the viral pod Instagram. Yeah. What I'll about the it. lifesavers though? How are you getting those out? You just stick them in and he just sucks them out. You're not putting them in, in there like deep. Like a rim thing. Yeah, yeah. R- r- surface. You know, you're putting them in there a little bit. You're not putting them deep in there. And then he, he's, he's, he's been wanting to do that for a while. He should just latch them onto some anal beads. Yeah. Ooh. But she's saying, why does he want to do that, but he won't rub my feet? He's not getting nothing out of rubbing your feet. That does nothing for him. Eating lifesavers out of your ass? Doing the trick. It's a good point. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he could massage your feet sometimes. Every once in a while, you know. you like, hey, if I let you eat lifesavers out of my ass, in return, could you please give me a little rub rub? Do the foot massage first, though, because yeah. he may be lacking after he's eating those lifesavers. Yep. Yep. That's always the worst. You're like, do I want the massage before or after? Because they're not going to care as much after. Exactly. And then before, they're just going to be horny, and then you're going to get short on the massage. You could be like, the better massage you give me, the more lifesavers I'll stick up there. I'll shove the whole package. Right. That's a great little, she should do that. Ooh. Would I stick lifesavers up my butthole if Greg or, you know, wanted to eat them out? I probably would. She's talking about the gummy lifesavers because the different flavors, huh? Oh, I don't know. I don't eat lifesavers. It's a good question. It's so, not the so, mint. Oh, not the hard ones? I think of the hard ones. There's hard flavored. Or, yeah, know. they're different flavors. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I don't think she's talking about the mint ones. She but. wants the gummies. She's talking about the gummies. That'd be hard to get up in there. Ooh, coming apart and shit. I just, I know there's a lot of fetishes out there, but I, I haven't found mine yet. You will. Let us know. Do you have one? You have I a don't, starfish fetish. I don't think so. I don't. Ha- I just like regular. I would like double penetration, but I don't think I would enjoy it just to experience it. But I think it'd be that's cool. That's a fetish. Like you love watching that and that. I don't think I have anything. I don't. But I would like to experience a double pin just to say I've done it. On, that's the only reason. I don't think I would enjoy it, but just to be like, yeah, I've done double pin. Double pin. How cool would you be saying that? You need a shirt that would say that. I know. The second y'all see me wearing a shirt saying, I experienced double pin, no, it happened the night before. <laughs> you save the shirt in your closet. No, I hop on Etsy the next fucking morning and rush ship that shit. <laughs> rush ship that shit. Anyway, Ooh, double pin. You wouldn't want to do double pin. Lots of lots going on. Oh, lots. Yeah, yeah. I'll get back to you on that one. I'll think of it. Okay, Maggie. I can't think of anything. W- have you had double pin? No. <laughs> have you had it? Like you wouldn't know. <laughs> well, you never know. You wouldn't know if, if I did. Okay. Damn. Hmm. Okay. Mm. Well, thank you for calling in, honeys. Love you. Love you. Hey, honey, it's making a house a home here. I am only 23, just got married. My husband and I bought a double wide in the middle of nowhere, literally but fuck nowhere. Um, and we literally polished a turd. We totally gutted out everything. We remodeled it. And I am in love. We, we want to build eventually like a shelf, barn dominium type thing because – both me and my husband are a little blue collar, little rednecks in Washington State. Um, but I was just wondering what your guys' dream home looks like. Like, if you could have anything in the world, what is your idea of a perfect house slash home? Thank you. Love this question. This is one of my favorite ones. Take it away, honeys. For me, 
my dream home would be to have all authentic crafts and like homemade like nothing that's a duplicate of something else like everything's original and crafted either from me or any other you know person who does crafts like Seth Rogen's house Mm -hmm. he has all of his pottery everywhere and like homemade ashtrays and just like dope presents that you know that's one of a kind so I would like things like that an eclectic style yeah, but like just for every single thing in the house, nothing original. And I do love like 70s and I love brick wall. What about the actual house itself? You love an industrial look. Yeah, like I would say though like an open floor, definitely open floor plan. Nothing too huge, honestly. Yeah. She likes to see pipes. I well <clears throat> I don't know if my dream home, like maybe some pipes somewhere. You know the open ceiling yeah. with pipes? I like that. Yeah. But, yeah, just something that is just artsy. Yeah. That's very you. I love this question because y- y'all know if you follow me on social media, I love homes, architecture, um, decor. I'm always thinking about it. I do plan on building a house in the next, you know, couple years, few years, and I think about it every fucking day. And I pretty much have the the home mapped out in my head. <clears throat> I love a solid mid-century modern style. I love, um, so when I build my house, I'm going to have a huge kitchen with a kitchen island the size of a Volkswagen Beetle. I want a huge kitchen. Yes. I want a sunken living room like in the 70s. I want shag carpet. I want it to look funky. I want you to walk into my house, even if you don't like it, but I want you to think, man, I've never seen a house like this. Same. So, yeah, I want some land and I want, you know, I I want stone walls and wood paneling and yeah, I can't wait. The wood. Mm Mm-hmm. Can't wait. I have my Pinterest all, I have from the baseboards to the fucking knobs to the light switches, like, I'm ready. This is something we think about all the time. I think about it all the time. Oh, every fucking day. You have to dream. And I want, I showed Maggie this not too long ago, I want a walk-in fridge. Yes. Mm -hmm. You'd be standing in that fucking Mm -hmm. thing all day. Oh, I just set a recliner up in there. (laughs) I want a little walk, nothing... You know, gigantic. I want a little walk-in fridge. That would be nice. Yeah. So. Gosh. Especially for rolling dough. Oh, yeah. Stays cold. So. I love this question. Thank you for calling in. Congratulations on your house, honeys. Yeah, that's a big fucking. Yeah. That's a big one. And a big job to gut it out yourself and make it the way you want it. And now you're happy and you should be happy in your home. And when you do the work yourself, Mm -hmm. it just feels that much better. Yeah. Proud of you here. Proud of you, honeys. Love ya. Love ya. Hey, honeys. I need some advice here on what the heck to do. So let me just run down the story really quick. So I have a cousin who has been in a long-term relationship with a piece of shit. And he, (laughs) they're engaged, quote unquote, but they have been trying to work out their relationship because he keeps cheating on her and she keeps catching him and then he says oh I don't know her I don't know her to my cousin about my cousin and so she just keeps taking him back and the wedding is still on he is not welcome in any of our family functions because he is a lying narcissist and none of her immediate family is doing anything about it and I just feel like I want to go over there and be his little face then So I'm just struggling on what to do, and I need some advice. What would you do if your cousin wouldn't listen to every single person in her family and leave this horrible person who treats her like shit? Help. Thanks, guys. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, she threw in a whole yeah in there. (laughs) I feel like this question is very, very, very relatable to probably almost everyone listening yeah and everyone has had a friend or a family member who is dating a piece of shit 
and they're still with him. And you're thinking, why are you with this motherfucker? But you cannot put any of that on yourself because that person is not going to get out of that relationship until they do. Because exactly, you can't force somebody like Mm-mm. to leave their current situation because they're not going to realize it until, Mm-mm. you know, they have to realize it themselves. My advice to you would is to do nothing because you can't do anything. You can't force somebody to do something. You can't force somebody to leave. You can't force somebody like she. She knows what's going on, and she's going to have to have you know it's gonna have to hit rock bottom before she wakes up and one day and she's like whoa okay i can't do this anymore she has to decide that and not the family too because she's getting probably fucking abused by his narcissism Mm -hmm. and who knows what the hell he's telling her and Uh probably forcing her to fucking stay Uh uh-huh so yeah she'll just have to do that on her own and just know you can't Mm -mm. just let go and it's frustrating it Being is. on the outside in, because you just want to shake the person and be like, why aren't, why, why can't you see this? Why can't you leave? It's frustrating. You just can't do anything. Because you care so much mm-hmm. for them, and you're like, wake up. Because mm-hmm. you feel like you deserve better. I know you deserve better. I see you deserve better. Why don't you feel that way about yourself? You should feel that way. You know, she has got to get to that point where she realizes that. And she's not there yet. Just like with anything, if you have somebody in your family on drugs, on this or that, you cannot beat yourself up for it because they will continue to just do what they want to do. Until they decide. Yeah, and it has to be them to be the final decision, you know? Yeah, and I feel like everyone can relate to that in some way. It's frustrating because you love that person. I get it, but there is absolutely nothing you can do, honeys. It's sad. Nothing you can do. Just be there for her. You yeah. know, when she needs, and you don't have to, he, he doesn't have to be welcome. <laughs> Fuck him. Don't, don't, don't invite him to shit. You don't have to accept him, you know, but be there for her whenever she, it does finally happen. And yeah, don't be salty towards her because yeah. it's just, I mean, yeah, we've probably even all been there ourselves. Yeah. So. Yeah. Love I know it's you. frustrating, honey. Love you. Thank you for calling in. This is the last call. <gasps> all right. Don't fuck me. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Paige. This is Patty from Montana. I'm just calling to say how much I love you girls. You make my day. Just keep up the good work. Aww. Patty, thank you. Patty. Patty. You're so sweet. Look. Another time? Oh, yeah. There's Alan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Patty, thank you. You're doing great. You're looking good. Yeah, Patty. Yeah, and, Patty. Yeah, and we appreciate the support. Thank you guys so much for tuning in every week and... Just fucking being here and just talking. Yeah, and chatting with us. I had a great time with this. This is one of the most fun podcasts I've ever filmed. I literally have to go clean up my underwear now. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. Yeah. So a lots of fun and the calls were all great. Great. And you guys are just doing great and call us in if you have any more fucking stories. Yes. And some jokes and some yes. would you rathers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And also make sure to check out our Instagram at the viral podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Go check out our new merch. Yeah. We got new merch, mommy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, we haven't done that in so long. Done. Check out him. Done what? Oh, click. Oh my God! Somebody put their cock in me. Who is that? Turn around. Uh, I turn. I me. can't see. Oh it's my me. God! Who are you? Damien. Oh, oh, oh my God! You're too tight. Oh my God! You're fucking me. You have a beautiful oh, pussy. Uh, oh my God, Damien! Thank you. Uh, uh, uh. Mm, thank you. So All polite. All right. All right. So. so give us a call at uh, 442-777-3331. And always remember, you're doing great. You're looking good. And, and fuck what everybody, everybody else thinks. Get ready. ready, ready. We're going live.